The People's Democratic Party on Monday called for an investigation into allegation of fraud, stealing and looting of funds in the Niger Delta Development Commission under the All Progressive Congress-led administration. The PDP National Publicity Secretary, Kola Logbodio, in a statement also alleged that the NDDC under the current management had become an automated teller machine for alleged corrupt APC leaders. The PDP spokesman called on the National Assembly to commence an investigation into the books of the NDDC recovered alleged looted funds and channeled the money to projects meant for the well-being of Nigerians. Alokbodinyon referenced reports that the NDDC had already spent over 1.045 billion naira purportedly for supply of kits and palliatives to Nigerians in nine states and said that the matter should be referred to the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission and not an internal investigation. He stated that the PDP invites Nigerians to observe that top officials appointed by President Muhammadu Buhari to oversee the NDDC include individuals with corruption charges from their previous public assignments, including as state governors. And joining us live is Daniel Bwala, who is a special advisor to Deputy uh, Senate President on legal and constitutional matters to take a look at this conversation. Good afternoon, Daniel. Good afternoon. Thank you for having me. Thank you for joining us. Is this cause for concern, the issues at hand, since the reality of COVID-19 does not seem to hit home until we know someone who is infected with it? Well, uh, I, if it is in reference to the Niger Delta, I think that it is obvious. Government, government is continuum, one. And then number two, when it comes to transparency, it doesn't matter if it is demanded from PDP or demanded from APC. I'm not saying that uh, to join issues with what uh, Olobodoyun said from the PDP end. So whether there is a, a letter or a press statement issued from their own end for the problem of NDDC or not, APC is already taking the stride, which is the reason why the president took the particular initiative of looking into the Niger Delta and causing the forensic audit. The problem we have now is that the constitution of the committee for the forensic audit is faulted right from the beginning. Individuals that you can see all over the media have questionable character as alleged in the media space. Allegations left, right, and center are now manning the Niger Delta Development Commission for the purposes of forensic audit. And then on the other hand, you will see that the mandate given to them by the president was to go and cause forensic audit. But then you read over the news and in social media that they are going beyond forensic audit to awarding of contracts. And in some cases, they said receiving kickbacks for payment of contracts that either were partially executed in the past or even not executed at all. And then people are being paid. So in the midst of these uh, momentous uh, allegation, I don't think it is necessary or right for the president to continue to have them operate, and especially because the National Assembly is currently uh, probing the NDDC in the same way that they are probing other agencies of government, pushing to the provision of Section 88 and 89 of the Constitution that gives them power to look into activities of agencies of government. So now that the NDDC is being probed, I do not think it is right for the IMC, who already are alleged to have committed certain infractions, to continue to function in their forensic or dependent examination of the matter. Now, what's the procedure for addressing what would be a significant crime against the Commonwealth at a time when the nation is struggling to loan money to cover up for the deficit occasioned by the pandemic? Right. So I, I think that uh, the, the right thing to do Whenever, and this is common standard everywhere and in any profession, if you are being probed, you are expected not to have the grip of what you are running so you don't interfere with the procedure or for the process, which I think about with the processes of the probe. So the president, in my view, can politely ask the IMC members to stay clear of the books since they are being investigated. Alternatively, they are to appear before the Senate Committee for the probe and respond to all of the questions that are put to them, inclusive of the questions flying all over the social media regarding, for example, award of contracts, embezzlement of NDDC, you know, receiving of kickbacks, interference with uh, the books, suspension of individuals. 
All of these things are matters that when they appear before the Senate committee, they are expected to answer. Now, I'm not a senator. I'm not a member of the Senate committee, so I don't know what the questions are or what they are, they are going to be uh, required to bring or say. But this uh, uh, information that they keep brandishing in the media, trying to prejudice the, the investigation by the Senate, to me, is uncalled for. One fact that everyone must be agreeable to is that the vision of the country and the purpose for the establishment of NDDC is not achieving its end because of massive corruption and corrupt practices in NDDC. And I think it will not be fair and just to the people of the Niger Delta that although a commission is created to cater for their well-being, but all through these years with the kind of money that the NDDC has either disposed, used, utilized, or received from the government for a pause, that nothing can be seen as the translation of the project into the lives and the well-being of the people of the United States. Right. So it is only right that they come to the Senate and respond to whatever that they will be required to respond to rather than doing and using all kinds of gimmicks and strategies in order to stop the probe by the Senate. Because don't forget that Senate is not a commission of the federal government. Senate is an arm of government. And so even if you have any other assignment given to you by any agency of the government, the call by the Senate supersedes and overrides that because that arm of government is taxed constitutionally with the power of proof. And it is personal to their power. They have done that in Southern Affairs and Ministry of uh, uh, Humanitarian. They are doing that with different agencies of the government. So it is not a probe that is anchored or focused only on NDTC. They are looking at the entire agency of government. But this is the time for NDDC to come clean. And it is only expected that in the circumstance that they come and respond to the questions. Nobody is above the law, and I expect that Mr. President will actually ensure that these people come to the Senate and respond to the questions that have been asked. If they are able to defend it, that's okay. But if they are not able to defend it, I don't think it will be right for the country and for the people of the United States that these people continue to man the affairs of NDDC, not meeting the objective of government. Who is to be held accountable in the scheme of affairs? What is going on, if we ask you? Well, the, first of all, the IMC is an uh, interim management committee, but the NDC itself is under a ministry that is headed by a minister of the Niger Delta. The minister of the Niger Delta, in my view, ought to ensure that NDC submits to the probe and he is not to undermine it. And secondly, whatever goes on, Negatively, but because, for example, if something positively happens, it is the minister of the Niger Delta that will be appraised for bringing about a change or reform in NTDC. And if something is going wrong, certainly the ball, the, the, the stop on his deck. So he will be held accountable. And if he fails also to function, you see, the president will be held accountable. That's how the chain goes. IMC is supervised by the minister. The minister is under the presidency. So that is why, and, and some of us who are supporters of this government will not want a situation where the presidency is not seen as actively involved in ensuring that the vision is translated by ensuring the probe is carried out. Because you hear 20 billion, 40 billion, and you are even hearing that it is 80 billion that was mismanaged. When they talked about COVID-19, you hear the amount of money that is being spent. When you hear the money they say they, 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 they raised for... Is it for the training of uh, is it mechanics or something? Well done. All kinds of figures are flying all over the media. So when you have this kind of situation right on your head, it is nice if you think you're right. He who comes to equity must come with a clean hand. When you see them all over the media, the IMC members, for example, talking about the fighting corruption in NDC, I think they should welcome the idea of them appearing before the Senate. If you have issues against individuals in the Senate or in the executive, go there and expose them but you must succumb to the probe. And if you fail to do that, the Minister of the Niger Delta will be held accountable. Right. Thank you so very much, Bola, for your time with us on News on the and Keep safe out there, too. Thank you. My pleasure. Okay.